You can now take more control than ever before when it comes to your AI video creations. OMG. And that's because of another incredible update by FreePick, adding to the already impressive visual prompt update. But now this time, this is for editing AI videos. Let me just show you two very impressive examples. Now you can see this image right here. This is just a regular AI image I generated. Now notice, up in the top right hand corner, I actually used my favorite secret token. That's how I was able to achieve such good realism. That secret token is at img.anynumberyouwant.cr2, so I highly recommend that you notate and start using that. Now, that's the image I created, but now with this brand new update, take a look at this video right here as I press the play button notice anything different look how good this actually worked I just said in my basic prompt in the new update to just put a headphone in her ear and just like that a pretty seamless and smooth operation that she used so this one worked pretty well now that's not to say that this doesn't need improvements I definitely do think that it does however for the most part when you ask for simple things like this right here, I just said she's putting on black designer sunglasses. Again, this worked out very, very impressively. Now, if you haven't seen this video, I highly recommend you check that one out right after this one, because this is going over the first update, the first round of updates for visual prompts. And now let's go ahead and select video generator. I'll remove everything and start completely from scratch. Now, right off the bat, you're gonna notice that the first thing you wanna do up at the very top left-hand side, you wanna make sure that you keep this in auto. You can't specifically choose a specific specific AI video model, okay? So go ahead and leave it on auto. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and start with an actual image. Hey guys, <laughs> if you don't have a free pick subscription, there's a link in the description to get a huge discount. Now's the time to get it. So what I'll start with is I wanna find a really good image and duplicate what I did before for those headphones in her ear. So I'm gonna head over here to my prompts portal database. This one just got another thousand prompts plus added to it. Some of my new favorite ones over here are gonna be these series of images right here, extreme realism. So what I'll do is let me go ahead and open this one up right here. Oh, hey guys. And I'll simply download this one. I'll then bring this one in to free pick directly and I'll also do this one as well just so we can start with something else right after the first one and now back over in the free pick in the top left hand corner go ahead and select start image once I click it again you can do a few things you can select from your past creations or you can just click and drag and bring one in so since I have those two images I just downloaded I'm gonna go ahead and do just that with this first one drop it in and now select use image there it is now, the first thing you want to do once it's done being uploaded up in the top left hand corner, it's going to go ahead and provide a prompt. Now, if you have a prompt that you could use, go ahead and use that. But if you just really want to focus on the new update, the visual prompt update, don't even worry about the auto prompt that it puts in. However, you do want to change your aspect ratio to match. So this one is going to be wider, 16, 9. Now, the important thing over here on the left hand side, what you want to do now is select visual. Right now it's on text, select visual. Once you click that, you'll see this button appear on the thumbnail of the image. Create visual prompt, go ahead and click that. And now just like that, it's gonna take us to this editor box right here. Now down at the bottom, you can notice a series of things that you could do, okay? We have like this target with an arrow, we have a brush, this comment box, and even an arrow. I'll give you a quick synopsis on what you can do with my top three favorites. The brush, you could use a a paint stroke so you can go ahead and expand the brush size and once you just go ahead and paint a specific area you could say something like place this item here etc and it's gonna go ahead and do just that we'll try that in a second but first what we're gonna go ahead and do is select this comment box because what we're gonna do is with the comment box selected click in the area that you want her to put her headphones in that's what we're doing in this case at least here and in the comment whatever you use as your comment that is going to be the instructions for the ai video generation so let's go ahead and say that it's very simple girl puts an earphone in her ear now click the blue check once everything is ready to go up at the very top select use visual prompt you can see at the very top right it says the sketch is saved now once you're ready to go 
left hand side select generate you can see it's going to take 500 tokens and now my video is in line so while this is thinking let's go ahead and do one more thing i'm now going to go ahead and select start image again and now bring in the other one i downloaded there she is click and drop right there use image and now let's do the same thing i showed you earlier let's select visual and let's go ahead and have her put on some black designer sunglasses as well so with the comment box selected again and i'll just say girl puts on black designer sunglasses just like this okay simple enough I put it on her nose, that way it's between her two eyes. It's really not too picky, but sometimes you do wanna make sure you get it as close as you can. Use visual prompt, and now let's generate this one. Now we're gonna have two going at the same time. Now, since we have two going, let's go ahead and select another image. And this time, I wanna show you a very different way to make this work. So let's head back over to my prompts portal database. And right now I'm in cyberpunk and futuristic. Now, this time, let's go and browse through a few of these and find something that we want to use. Okay, let's see what happens if I bring in, in fact, what I'll actually do, instead of actually bringing in this image, because the models have improved so much, much since I generated this image. I'm going to go ahead and copy this prompt and generate that image in real time. So with that copied, I'll keep that in mind. But now what we're going to also do is go to my cars one. Okay. The reason why I want to do this is I want to show you how to make these cars move in a specific direction of your choice. Let's see if I can actually get a better looking image by copying this prompt. But here's what I'm going to do now. Since I like the style of this, I'm going to head over into my cheat codes and realism section right here. Now, these are going to be those secret tokens, the tokens that are specifically designed to generate incredible levels of detail and realism. For an example, look how realistic this avatar image looks. That's because I'm using this secret token, the one I showed you earlier, right there. It's going to work wonders. So let's go ahead and look at these very quickly and see how good of a job it did. Now, the first one, this is where I asked it to put the headphones in her ear. Let's go ahead and hit that play button. Look at that. Pretty good. I mean, I can't really tell what kind of a headphone that is, but she did do it. Now, the first video I showed you, it did it flawlessly. Remember this one right here where she put that, it looks exactly like an Apple AirPod. That one was very good. I think it did a better job because her ear is more exposed. Now, let's select this one here with the black designer sunglasses. Hit that play button. Now, this one did a phenomenal job. I really like the way that this turned out download this one that's definitely worthy of a download okay now let's go ahead and go to the image generator right here let's go ahead and recreate that image of that car however this time i'm going to go ahead and start it with that secret token that's going to give me even more realistic looking images so as a reminder there it is right there i'm going to go ahead and copy this one come back over here into free pick and now paste it right before the actual prompt we're going to try it in mystic flexible 2.5 and we're also going to try it in nano banana just to see who can give me the most realistic style looking image. We're going to have six going at the same time. And right off the bat, I can already tell they do look pretty good. It did go pretty fast. Okay, so while we're waiting on the rest of these, let's go ahead and copy that other prompt I wanted to generate. And now here it is right here of this cyberpunk woman okay so i'll go ahead and select this prompt again in this one specifically i want to utilize the brush but first let's go ahead and go to these vehicles here and check out the final results on these generations okay pretty good looking these all look very nice and we'll choose one let's go ahead and go with this one right here okay so now what i'll do again over here on the left hand side we're gonna go to video generator okay again remove the image up here select start image and since we just generated that image let's go ahead and click and bring this one in and now select in fact let's go with this one right here now i'll select use image again select visual create visual prompt and now this time what we're going to do is down at the very bottom i'm going to go ahead and select this arrow okay with this arrow selected i'm going to make it a little bit bigger and i'm going to draw an arrow in the direction i want the car to actually move so if i wanted i could have it reverse or if i wanted to just go ahead and speed away to the left i'm going to draw that arrow just like that it's that simple with that arrow drawn now select that comment box and click on the arrow so the comment box is somewhat next to it just like that and now type in this 
car moves in this direction fast. Let's see what happens if I select fast. Hit the check mark, use visual prompt, generate. And here we go again. We're going to generate a few images of this one with the girl wearing the prompt hat. Now, since it does contain text, I'm definitely going to choose Nano Banana as well, because right now it does a very, very good job with accurate text. And while I'm at it, I'll also do it in Flux. I'll go with Flux Realism and now also Ideogram. Okay, I can look at these right now. These are, okay, these look pretty good. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that she's not wearing a hat with the word prompts on it. That's because I actually took it out of the prompt. So that's why she's not wearing that hat like the original image. But let's quickly look at a few of these. Now these are supposed to be humanoids, so they're not supposed to look too human. But okay, now that one looks very good. And that's the one I think that we're going to end up with. It all has to do with the specific model that you choose. This one was Flux Realism. So this one is the one we're going to go with. Okay, so since Flux did a relatively good job, I'm going to do this prompt one more time. Now, while these are thinking, let's go back and look at our vehicle where I said vehicle moves in this direction. Look at that. There it goes. It takes off. It's pretty cool to see it drive without a human in it, but it did exactly what I was wanting to do simply by just adding that arrow and saying car moves in this direction fast. Okay, now I got a few more of these images generated. And again, these all look really, really good. So let's go ahead and choose one. Since we're on this one, let's go ahead and use that one right there. But again, they all look really, really good. I would highly recommend trying this prompt out for yourself and specifically using either Flux or Mystic. And I'll also include this actual prompt in the description as well because I do think that you can actually probably make this even better than mine. So let's go ahead and do that last thing. Video generator. And now let's select from our recent creations the image I want to go ahead and use. We'll go with this one right here. Okay. Select that visual again. Same steps as usual. And now this is what we're going to do. This area right here. Okay. Now with that area kind of colored out, now select that comment box and click on that area. A waiter brings a margarita and places it on the bar table. Hit that check button and now use visual prompt. Let's generate this one. Now, since we're here, I might as well do one more and see if I can choose something else again and change the image out very quickly. And let's have a little bit of fun with this. Let's see if we can actually do many things at once. Okay. With that comment box, I'm going to click on this drink and I'm going to say woman takes a sip of drink. Okay, so that's one. What I'm also going to go ahead and do is now try to combine this. Okay, I'm going to use the arrow and I'm going to draw it right there. Comment box and I'm going to specifically select this man that's over here. Kind of blurry. I'm going to go ahead and say man stands up and walks in this direction. Okay. Now, last but not least, I'm going to do this one more time. Now I'm going to go ahead and select a brush. And now I'll say a waiter puts down a bowl of chips. Okay, I'm kind of skeptical on this, but we're going to have three at the same time. Okay, so unfortunately, the first one got flagged. So I redid it and I did it with this image this time of her taking the drink. Now let's see how good this did. And now finally, the one where we asked it to do three things. Let's take a look at this. And now there you have it. A new update by FreePick. Visual prompts for AI video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And remember, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car. Your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules channel. is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips. Tons of prompts and